Our God is God and God alone does life and breath and being give. We are God's work and not our own. The sheep that on God's pastures live. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Monday, June the 16th. It's the fifth week in the Psalm cycle. And the scriptures for this service, Psalm 77, and Numbers chapter 9, verse 15 to 23, and chapter 10, verse 29 to 36. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. I cried aloud to you, and you heard me. Alleluia. Psalm 77. Alleluia. I cried aloud to you, and you heard me. In the day of my distress, I sought you. I stretched out my arms in the night and my soul refused to be comforted. I remembered you and was troubled. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. You will not let my eyelids close. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I remember my song in the night. I commune with my own heart and my spirit searched diligently. Will you cast us off forever? Will you favor us no more? Is your love gone forever? And does your promise fail? Have you forgotten to be gracious? Have you withheld your tender mercies in anger? I said, this is my grief, but I will remember the years when your right hand was strong. I will remember your works. I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your works and tell of your mighty acts. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God as you? You are the God that does wonders. You have declared your strength among the peoples. You have redeemed your people, the children of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you. They were afraid and the depths trembled. The clouds rained and the skies thundered. Your lightning flashed. Your voice was in the heavens. Your lightning illumined the world, and the earth trembled and shook. Your way is in the sea, and your path in the great waters, and yet your footsteps are not seen. You lead your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I cried aloud to you, and you heard me. Alleluia. A reading from the book of Numbers, chapter 9, beginning at verse 15. On the day the tabernacle was set up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, the tent of the covenant, and from evening until morning, it was over the tabernacle, having the appearance of fire. It was always so. The cloud covered it by day and the appearance of fire by night. And whenever the cloud lifted from over the tent, then the Israelites would set out. And in the place where the cloud settled down, there the Israelites would camp. At the command of the Most High, the Israelites would set out and at the command of the Most High they would camp. As long as the cloud rested over the tabernacle, they would remain in camp. Even when the cloud continued over the tabernacle many days, the Israelites would keep the charge of the Most High and would not set out. Sometimes the cloud would remain a few days. According to the command of the Most High, they would remain in camp. And then, according to the command of the Most High, they would set out. Sometimes the cloud would remain from evening until morning, 
and when the cloud lifted in the morning, they would set out, or if it continued for a day and a night, when the cloud lifted, they would set out. Whether it was two days or a month, or a longer time, that the cloud continued over the tabernacle resting on it, the Israelites would remain in camp and would not set out. But when it lifted, they would set out. At the command of the Most High, they would camp, and at the command of the Most High, they would set out. They kept the charge of the Most High at the command of the Most High by Moses. Moses said to Hobab, son of Reuel, We are setting out for the place of which the Most High said, I will give it to you. Come with us, and we will treat you well. For the Most High has promised good to Israel. But he said to him, I will not go, but I will go back to my own land and to my kin. He said, Do not leave us, for you know where we should camp in the wilderness, and you will serve as eyes for us. Moreover, if you go with us, whatever good the Most High does for us, the same he will do for you. And so they set out from the mount of the Most High three days' journey, with the Ark of the Covenant of the Most High going before them three days' journey, seeking out a resting place for them. The cloud of the Most High being over them by day when they set out from the camp. Whenever the ark set out, Moses would say, Arise, O Most High, let your enemies be scattered and your foes flee before you. And whenever it came to rest, he would say, Return, O Most High, of the ten thousand thousands of Israel. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For the sick, especially Carol, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, especially Robert, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For all who died, especially George, Walter Arthur, and Father Tom, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Hear us in the days of our distress, O God of wonder and might. Remember your promises of old, and grant us your compassion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.